Hey guys, Dave for Shoot Repeat here. Got invited by my cousin on his big, big center console. Go out wide fishing up north in my hometown. Four hour drive, crash there, get up in the morning, and we're heading out wide. Good morning, guys. Parents aren't actually home, so I can be as loud as I want. Good day for it. Hopefully, eh? Yeah. So, don't jump in the front and then put it on the other side there. Please, Dave. Okay, I'll okay. hold him. Yeah, I'll clean up these bungees. Yeah, mate, if you make it, yeah. like the bungees up, right? Back out again, am I? Yeah. How far out do you want it, Steve? Whole way up. To or? the end, mate. Yeah. 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 Pass me that one there. Yeah. That was under here, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. See how he's towing along the wave. The wave's going this way. Like we're punching yeah. into it. I often run along it. Is that because sometimes they like to stir it up in the water? Yeah. It? We have had, I don't know how many times we've been doing this and we've turned to go back. And as we've like turned, we've had a bloody hook up. And we had that with Steve on one of them. What do you think it is? I don't see it now. What was that? that a ping? Yeah. Still the bait, still the bait. There's something bigger than the skippy there, with it? Oh, no, I think that skippy is wasted. It yeah. looks dead. Just leave it for a minute. Well, I was feeling him go. He must have got whacked then. I'm sure there was definitely a hit. Like, yeah. This is something bloody watching. That's wicked. Right. Yeah, that's not that way. Right. That's wicked. similar thing is it just a little quick release yeah and you just put that in the, that rod holder do you or? yeah just to get a bit more height on it yeah does that make it pop a little bit more or? yeah and our drop back right we'll leave it right out there Gotta attract them at least, eh? It's just another thing, eh? Mm. So I'm 
pretty 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 knackered got up at quarter to five and on the water by six just now it's uh, 6 20 p.m got about a four hour drive unfortunately no marlin that is what it is we um end up getting a shitload of skippies i've bled a couple so i'll definitely be turning some of them into raw fish and probably frying up a little bit as well got quite a few skipjack yesterday I haven't really fitted a lot of skippies in my time. I looked at a couple of YouTube videos and I found a really interesting one uh, from someone in the islands. Kind of peeled the skin off first, so I might make a huge mess of it. Don't know really what I'm doing, but I'll give it a go and see how we go. Sure. Yeah, so I went fishing for 12 hours, didn't hurt myself not even once, and then was measuring a kayak with a tape measure this morning and sliced my finger open. So here you go. Don't play with sharp, bloody tape measures. Here we go the usual way. Now, you'll probably notice these haven't been bled which is not ideal not sure how they're going to taste we just didn't have the opportunity to when we were trying to use them for marlin bait definitely not the best fillet i've ever done i should have just peeled the fillet off yeah i've heard this is the problem i just absolutely waxed this to skin that is exactly why that other guy fillets completely differently. Because I'm just going to waste so much meat. And when I say going to, I already have. Okay, today on episodes of how to waste good fish would be everything I just did just then. This time, because uh, the last one was an absolute disaster, I'm going to try and do what this guy says. Holy shit. That is legit. It just brings the whole guts out in one go. No. What do you do next? Cuts off both fins. Not bad, good size. And peel the bloody skin off, eh? On the video, the guy just starts peeling the skin off. <laughs> that is a hell of a lot less meat wasted. Try that little tactic on the other side. Yeah. I'm taking the piss. That is the first time I've ever done that. And it certainly went a lot better. Really. This is where he does something a bit different. He just runs the old knife down the backbone. Something like that. It's certainly a much better fillet. A lot less wasted. There's this weird backbone line, eh? I thought we have to cut it down the middle. Maybe like that. And flop them over. And take that segment out. Okay, so... I think I'm starting to get there. In terms of understanding the actual fish. It's kind of in four sections. Definitely better fill up that one. Whew. So that was two of the slowest fish I've ever filleted in my life. I do definitely think that the island style was the best. And the next one I'm going to do that. I'm just going to take it in quarters with my fish. Anything that's even a little bit suspect because I could eat any of it raw. We'll go in there. I'm a food scientist by trade, so I do not want to get sick, and I'm going to keep it that way. So there's only two bled skippies, and this is one of the two. Keep the best till last. Well, hopefully the best anyway. As cleaner and cut off as you're gonna get. Sweet, it's not bad. What I can say is, compared to that random one that was sludgy as, you really can feel the difference between when you put them on ice straight away and if you leave the dogs in the sun. Maybe that's even better. Just cut that shit off from the start.
Yeah, no, not honestly. Building skills for Skippy's has improved markedly. Pretty sure we have got this filleting down to a fine art. Grab some of my premium fillet. No smell. The the least you can smell a fish, definitely. The fresher it's gonna be. This is the Korean style, generally they add lettuce. Chopsticks or chatkura. Too good. You!